On today, a Longview native wants to help people know the highs and lows of living a Christian mm -hmm. life. The Boy. book is called It's a Process. Christy Warren is here to tell us a little bit more about this book. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Okay, this sounds like this is going to be a really good read. Uh, can you tell us what East Texans can expect if they pick up a copy of this book? Uh, they can expect the truth about my life and things that I went through in my process is, is growing up and trying to live a Christian life. I accepted God at a really early age and I was about 10. And through that process, I did a bunch of stuff that I should not have done that is nowhere in the Word of God. And I had to learn that it was part of my growth and my maturity as far as spiritual growth goes. Mm -hmm. So this book that we have this morning, uh, is it taking us through the walk of a Christian life? Or? Yes, it's taking us through the walk, the trials and the tribulations. It's taking you through the acceptance, what happens in between and what God expects to happen and the point that he's trying to get us to. We have to learn our purpose, why God created us so that we can live a life that's pleasing him, be Christ-like so that other people might want to come into that same life. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think, and I did it one time, that, oh, you, you, you accept Christ, everything's going to be good. Well, no, that's not the case. And now, from our perspective, it, it's, you know, we, th we see things as bad, but talk about how the, those tough times really build us if we let them. Exactly. Uh, Paul says, I press on toward the mark of the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. So pressing means it's going to be hard. And that's the whole thing because Paul was Saul in the beginning. Yeah. And if you think about it, then you go back to David who made so many mistakes. But these were people that were called of God. God had chosen them for a purpose. And that's what we have to look at. Things that God takes us through are molding and shaping us. Everybody is created and designed and assigned to reach another person. So the things that you go through build up your strength to be able able to minister and to witness to other people about what you went through. If you had a, you never gotten sick and gotten healed, you couldn't tell anybody that God can heal you. If you hadn't never missed a car payment or not had enough money to pay one bill or another, and then God provided a job and more money, you wouldn't be able to witness to somebody and say that he can do that. So you can't never go through anything and then tell people, well, God is so good. Well, how do you know? And that's what life is designed. It's to teach us the things of God and that we can only depend on him. It says put no confidence in man, but you depend on God. And that's what the process is about. It's teaching us that everything we go through in life, if we look to God to strengthen us, we understand what he's trying to teach us and we learn from those lessons. Well, I mean, that sounds like a great message that everybody needs. Now, I was flipping through the book during the break, and it mm -hmm. seems like you also incorporate scriptures into the book. So, I mean, this is a great yes. way to get, you know, fed by the Word, yes. you know, as you're reading this book as well. It's like, I read a study application Bible, and what I did was I went through and I looked at the King James Version, and some of those scriptures are in there, but a lot of the New Living Translation is in there as it applies to us, because I have a life application Bible. And these things apply to life, and it's hard for somebody, uh, like he was saying earlier, we go to the altar and we say, okay, I'm saved, and that's it, and everything's mm. coming up roses, oh, and boy. everything that I used to do, every sin I ever committed is mm. gone, and I'm never going to sin again, and that's not what it's about. That's not Christian life. You do make mistakes, mm. but you also learn how to repent. You learn what conviction is. It's all part of the process. Mm. And you've done some other books, right? And you have one that's forthcoming. What, what's yes. that one going to be about? That book is called But Now I Get It. Uh, my baby sister designed the cover for me. She drew the cover. And that book is a Christian relationship, not just husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, but it's mother and child and father and child and friendships and you, us living together in a community as Christians, the relationships we form. Mm -hmm. Well, if we want to pick up a copy of this book, where do we need to go? You can go online to takepublishing.com. You can also go to amazon.com and barnesandnoble.com. And if someone goes to my website or goes to Facebook, Blessing and Lesson, they can contact me and I can get them a copy and sign it for them. Well, thank you so much for stopping by this You're morning, so Christy. No problem.